What's up YouTube? We are back at uh, Master Cycle Works as you can tell. We are going to pick up the Warrior. Pistons are in, uh, big bulk jugs are in too. And let me show you the shop right here. Where there is Mike Diona. This guy. This guy right here. So uh, let's go and check out the bike. Run. There she is. There she is. Hell yeah. Let's look at the pistons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder if this is oil over there. Is it oil? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's. Must be assembly loop or something. No, it's oil, man. It's oil. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. You see the oil part somewhere? Oh, there we go. Sweet. Plenty of power in that bitch now. What do you think? Mid to high 20s? Or mid to high uh, 120s? Huh? Oh my god, shit is over there. Let's check out the old jacks. Ah, here are the old pistons. Let's check these out. Oh yeah, they got a beating. Come on camera, focus in there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Pins are there. How you doing, man? Everything good? Yeah, everything good, man. Yeah. Alright, and here are, here are the jacks. All right, let's put the baby on the trailer. All right, guys, the bike is back on the trailer. Yeah, buddy, let's strap that bitch. Let's do some bondage because we're gonna get kinky with that bike. Very nice. What's up guys? You see the bike right there? Uh, yeah, you can tell. Bike is back on the trailer. Uh, we just left Master Cycle Works. Carlos, say hi. That's up, Carlos. Up? Also a warrior owner. And uh, Carlos is getting his handlebars installed. I mean, in my, in my garage. He already bought them. From Pacifico Stock. Hey! What was your waiting time at Pacifico Stock? <laughs> Say it. Uh, over a month. Over a month? <laughs> For what? For handlebars? For handlebars. Shit. What, what, were, they, were those custom handlebars? No. <laughs> See, so he just got himself a new uh, really cool handlebars from Pacifico Stock, but his waiting time was a month. <laughs> you know. Um, so we're going back to my place. We're going to drop the bike off. Um, I just talked to Mike, the shop owner at Master Cycle Works, and he said, because I asked him about the braking process for the pistons, okay, so I just verified myself I'm doing everything all right. Um, he said, bring the bike Thanks. Bring the bike up to temperature. Why is that uh, important? Well, when you uh, bring the bike to temperature, you know, um, metal expands. Uh, same thing happens with the uh, pistons. You know, and there's piston rings on there, you know, the oil rings, compression rings and stuff like that. So you want to make sure your bike is up to temperature when you break your bike in. Okay? Don't hit it, uh, you know, all the way up to red line when you, when the bike is still cold. And even then, when you break it in and the bike is warmed up, you know, to three, like in our case, what, 3700 RPMs, 3500 RPMs, you know, 3800, maybe four something like that but don't hit it all the way up to red line and um, more than I mean 500 miles on new pistons is more than enough you know maybe it might be too much I don't know so uh, let's go back to my place and let's start the reassembly of the warrior I see you guys she's fucking back guys you have no idea how happy I am oh shit I fucking think look how beautiful 
beautiful yes this is oil in there so uh, I don't know why you put oil in there can I leave it in you tell me nice 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 all right uh, time to get that bike off the trailer and then I'll meet you guys in the garage <laughs> It's almost ready to ride, huh? Yes, sir. The 110 big bull kit. <laughs> the so beast big. It's the beast on steroids now. Hey, come here. Okay. Look how beautiful they are. Nice and shiny. Shiny. So when are you going to be ready to go on this thing? If I really wanted to, today. If I really wanted to. Ready? Almost took out the camera guy. <laughs> it's so light without the engine in it. Back in town, baby. All right. And don't, don't forget, don't fucking die. All right guys, it's your boy GD Warrior. So for now what we have done is we have put the top cylinder heads on top of the new uh, board jugs. See the, my engine fins, I used to have them blacked out right here, but this is how the uh, original style looks like. I have cleaned up the um, surface for the gaskets with acetone, All right? And now it's time to torque the bolts in on both sides so uh, let's go ahead and do that first and I'll get back to you once I torque down these uh, bolts all right guys so before we tighten down the bolts I just wanted to tell you that these are the eight so four on this side and four on that side eight um, M12 bolts and four uh, M8 bolts so um, these are going to be torqued to 43 foot-pounds of torque and 28 foot-pounds of torque, okay? So let me do this first and I'll get right back to you. All right, guys, so we have torqued down the, the nuts and um, now we put our gasket back in. So if you wonder what that brown stuff is, well, this is copper um, gasket sealant, high temperature copper gasket sealant that um, helps you reuse your old metal gaskets you know they're made out of metal and as long as they're in good uh, condition and you clean them up very nicely you can spray these on and reuse them so now next step is to um put the rockers on and when we put the rockers on we need to do the valve adjustments but we have to do everything the whole step uh without the push rod tubes once we set the um here let me show you the push rod um you know lengths correctly with the adjustable push rods right here then we'll have to take everything off and um, you know put the push rod tubes back in and stuff and then reassemble everything so uh, I'll show you everything I got the whole Patrick Racing uh, adjustable push rod instructions PDF from Patrick Racing so uh, what we have to do now is put the bike on the lift so we can spin the we uh, wheel in order to put the pistons into TDC and right here on this side, this is your uh, timing cover. Right there you can see, based on the mark, um, if you are on TDC or not. So uh, let's get started. So um, I have taken my push rods and loosened them up completely. Same thing on this side. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to, need to put, take that cover here off because there's a little line that will tell us if we are TDC or not. But to check if we are on TDC for each, uh, you know, exhaust valve, intake valve front, exhaust valve, intake valve uh, rear, we will be looking at the lifters. Just like the Patrick Racing uh, uh, official instructions say, I'm gonna be going just by that. And it's actually pretty easy. You put in the first one is, I think, from what I remember, but I will check on that in a little bit, is to put the rear exhaust push rod in all the way to the rocker and um, extend it all the way so you cannot um, turn it with your fingers anymore. Um, you know, I mean, spin the push rod with your fingers. So, and then you take a quarter turn off and then you move on to the next side. All right, guys, uh, so let's go ahead with the next step of uh, the important process and this is take your beer in my case Modelo, I love Modelo and have a sip ah, that makes working much better let's proceed to the next step All right next step so uh, we have to install both rocker boxes on on top without anything else you know our lifters are in and we will follow the Patrick Racing instructions and they say to install the um, rocker boxes on top, so let's do that first. All right, guys, time for the next step. So you wanna install your rocker boxes the same way you usually do them. So you got two fucking uh, bolts right here. One, two, three, four, 17 pounds of torque each. And then you're gonna go to the back. You got two over here, one, two, one, two. The reason for that is, you know, if you torque it down, you uh, reduce even more clearance. So um, the clearance between, you know, the valves, the valve clearance is based on service manual, um, 0, 0.0 to 0 0.04. That's your play, you know, you want to be in that range. So torquing it down might help you with the clearance, you know. So uh, let's go ahead and let's install the first push rod based on what the Patrick Racing inst installing instructions tell us. All right, guys, so we will be installing the push rods right now. So um, what you want to do is you want to roll over the engine until your intake lifter right here is at full lift and exhaust is all the way down. All right, exhaust lifter all the way down. Um, intake lifter all the way up full lift and now we'll be installing the push rod for the rear exhaust valve all right so let's do that all right guys i have just installed my uh, adjustable push rods and here is how it went down so in the instructions they say uh, to put the boxes on first you know so i tighten them down and then i uh, took the, the the nuts here on, on the on the push rods you know uh, I took the tension all the way down so they are short as possible and I tried to put them in but that didn't work so what I did is you know I shortened them as much as uh, possible to the max I put them both in and then I put the uh, rocker on top of it made sure that these two uh, tips here are with it inside the, the the rock arm push thingies so and then I tighten it down so um, what you're gonna do is you are going to with the, let's start with the first one when you install the silver one right here this is your exhaust uh, intake I mean exhaust valve um, and exhaust push rod so what you want to do is you want to uh, look down at the lifter and make sure that the intake Lifter is at full lift. You know, you're gonna turn the engine over. You see your lifter is on um, at full lift. That means the bar, the exhaust lifter is um, all the way down. And then you adjust the screws. Make sure that your um, push rod um, is all the way screwed in so that there is no slack in here. And then you turn it a quarter uh, of a turn back and tighten the and tighten the nuts and then you move over to this side that means it's got to be in reverse order you're going to turn the engine over and uh, over until the 
uh, exhaust lifter is all the way lifted at full lift and then you do the same thing with the with this push rod right here which goes to the intake um, you're gonna adjust the screws you know you're gonna extend it all the way so that there is no slack uh, on, on that thingy here and then you're gonna tighten it down and then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the front cylinder and then you have your push rods adjusted and then you're gonna disassemble everything all right you're gonna disassemble everything put the push rod tubes in there you need to mark or make sure you put the the adjusted push rods the, exactly the same way in you took them out so in my case i have two different color push rods i know exactly which one uh, goes where so my silver one is going to go into the exhaust lifter and the left side and my red one is going to go into the intake lifter and the right one okay so let's do this and let me install the push rods and then we will move over to adjusting the valve clearance your boy gd warrior all right guys looking good looking good so far um what have we done after uh we have installed the push rods we had to take the rocker boxes back off um, you know, make sure the push rods go in the same way we adjusted them and in the same positions of the lifters and the, you know, exhaust and intake valves. So we got that done and then it was time to install the push rods, which it's a pain in the ass because you got to hold it from each side, you know, you got to make sure these are up then you got to make sure these are aligned, then you got to make sure they go into the alignment bolts, then you got to make sure you hold this and everything goes in, ah, uh, it's, it's a pain in the ass but it's doable i did it myself by myself i don't have any help here so um next step is valve adjustment so you see these um equalizers right there all right here this part so they all the way uh turned out okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our valve adjustment gouges i have one here i i have to find the the other one now this one is um, point, let me see if I can get the focus on. Oh, there we go. Point zero three. All right. So the valve clearance based on the uh, service manual, they say it's got to be between 0 0.00 and 0 0.04. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get the smallest one I have. I think this is 0 0.02. And then I'm going to, will we start adjusting the valve clearance? Come on, focus. Whatever. Um, and then I'll be adjusting the valve clearance on the um, rocker arms. So let's get right to it. All right. So <clears throat> um, I'm just, I just finished uh, with the valve clearances. So they all inspect now. And these nuts right here these nuts got him <laughs> no so those nuts right here uh, the torque specs on these is 14 pounds of torque okay just so you know so uh, yeah man we almost done so uh, I would say let's get the intake boots on throttle bodies hook up some stuff and then uh, you know it's time to start the bike all right here they are installed um, so these little bolts right here, they take a uh, torque of 7.2 foot-pounds of torque. So make sure you torque them to 7.2, all right? So let me torque them down real quick and then we'll go over to the next uh, step. And that will be um, the valve covers and the throttle bodies. So let's do that. All right, guys, we are so close. All right, so um, <clears throat> basically, um, you know, when you are done with your rockers, you're gonna put the, um, you know, gasket on top. You make sure your, your bolts are all to spec, torque to spec. And then you're going to put your valve covers on. And it's a very time consuming thing on the, on the rear um, cylinder valve cover, because you got these bolts there in the back and it's very hard to get to. So um, each of them bolts right here is uh, 7.2, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, 7.2 pounds of torque. And 
go ahead install them you know on both sides make sure you got your uh, crankcase uh, vent or oil filter um, you know hooked up the lines right there in the back your your fuel lines and all that stuff so um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead now and um, install the throttle bodies and after the throttle bodies I will install the uh, coils and then uh, the battery hook up everything and then we will be ready to fire the bike up but but I have to go buy oil first <laughs> I don't have oil here so I'm gonna do that and yeah man and then we'll be ready to fire up can't wait guys all right guys we are almost finished so I bought some uh, you know oil and stuff I put a brand new um, OEM Yamaha oil filter on they are actually pre loop right out of the box so that's pretty cool I like that didn't know they do this and then I bought some um, mineral oil just like Nigel Patrick said to do Yamaha loop 10w40 it's just like it says on the bottom right there Performance joint use engine oil is blended using top quantity mineral based oil. So um, uh, I'm gonna fill it up. But first, since I have a 110 big book kit now, I cannot use my my current map that was um, uh, tuned for my you know cam kit and stuff. So um, Patrick Racing was so nice to send me a map based on uh, my setup with the stock ECU. So the stock ECU is in. Um, I need to connect the battery now. Um, I'm gonna clean this everything up just to, after I make sure that you know the engine runs and everything starts. So I would say let's put the exhaust on and hook up the battery and then I'm gonna get, get my laptop out load the um, Patrick Racing map in it and then we're gonna start it man and then this is how I'm gonna bre break it in with the um, Yama loop and the uh, map for stock ECU um, cam kit and 110 big ball um, you know map and then yeah that's how it's gonna be for you know the next few hundred miles and then the guy at the um, dealership he said um, you know when I um, get the oil out to watch for metal shavings and if there's a lot of metal shavings in there to run it for another like 600 miles you know and yeah that's it so uh, let me get my laptop out and let, let me load uh, the map in and then uh, we will fire that beast up sorry it took me a little bit but uh, the bike is basically all um, assembled as you can see pipes are on everything is on everything is uh, ready to rock now what we are going to do is since I can't ride with my own map I have to uh, download the uh, actually load up the um, Patrick Racing map that I got from Nigel so uh, let's freaking I, I think it's a DJM file man so let's let's see if I can import this let's do that where is it oh here it is Boom, open. Oh shit. Alright, it's like a really, really basic map over here. Extremely basic ignition. Now, yeah, I, I see some ones over there. Fuel. Let's go to, uh, let's calibrate the TPS settings. Yep, that's where we want to have our minimum voltage 635. Well, 625 is a little bit too less, so what we're gonna do is we are going to. You hold this for a second. Let's uh, calibrate the GPS settings. I think 663 is good. No, actually, it was 635. So. All right. There we go. 
Now we're gonna hit the reset button. All right. We hit the reset button. Now we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go full throttle. So it reads 100 in the screen and then we're gonna let it go. Okay, now we set the TPS settings. Now we're gonna hit send map. Right there. Map is sent. All right. Time to fire the bike up, man. Let's see uh, what's, what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Malu. Does the body good. I'm gonna put two quarts of it in. Two and a half quarts, the map is loaded. Now we are going to start the bike. Just let me take this shit off. We'll bring this thing to life, man. It's been sitting here for so long. <laughs> All right, man. First time starting it up. I'm nervous, man. Let's do it. Holy shit! Here we go. Hold on, let me back up. No, so, no, I'm, I'm trying to see the whole thing. Let's no, no check the engine light is on. So that's good. Brand new batteries and brand new starter. Shit, man. I hope nothing is gonna explode. Wait, 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 wait. Just Always in case something fucking explodes. Always wear a helmet. helmet <laughs> Ready? <laughs> uh, It sounds deeper, man. It sounds it, really it, fucking it does. deeper, man. Yeah, it sounds a lot deeper. Very nice, 110 big book kit guys, mission accomplished, thanks guys for watching everybody who uh, you know was on the journey with me and um, I hope you guys like this video, if yes uh, hit the like and subscribe button, comment below how you liked it and uh, I guess I'm gonna go for a ride, it's your boy GD Warrior and don't forget, don't fucking die.